Hey, what's up everyone? So as you see, I'm kind of dressed like a just like a ninja, but what am I doing? I'm actually going to have a little bit of fun and this is one of the main reasons why I got into photography and that was light painting. So I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to tell you and show you a situation. I even got my little glow sticks right here. You know, these things. So I'm going to give you some tips. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing and just kind of show you how to have fun. What is light painting? What can you do and how to set up your camera? Let's go. You know, so I'm going to show you right here. This is kind of a quick effect you can do and you can have some major fun with it. So right now, what am I using? What am I doing? So right now I have my Nikon D600, my 24 to 70 lens on its widest setting. I'm just mainly using my stairs right now because I think it's just going to be a cool kind of scene. I'm going to do kind of like a ghosty type looking thing and then I'll show you traditional light painting. But uh, one of the main things you want to do is you want to have a tripod because you're going to have to use a long shutter speed to do this to show uh, more movement. Exactly like you're doing if you're doing sports or something. So the fun thing is, so you set this up, so set it up uh, however you want once again on a tripod, monopod, whatever you want to do if it has feet, or on a table, whatever. And you want to use a, a decent depth of field. So right now I'm at a 5.6, my shutter speed is 30th of a second, and I'm at ISO, what am I? ISO 400, just because I wanted to boost the ambient a little bit. Now the big kicker is there could be absolutely no light within this scene, and that's what you really have to block out. So even anything like this, like a router, or anything with light, has to be blocked out. So that's why I am actually dressed in all black attire, even bare feet. Uh, just so that way you get something consistent and that there's no light. And when I come up the stairs, I'll be like, I'll be like this. 5.6, 6.3, f8, or something like that. Uh, 20 to 30th of a second on shutter. It's good to be actually on a self timer so that way you can get where you have to go. Like for myself, I'm actually going to be right down here at the bottom of the stairs. I'm going to come up and do something uh, with the uh, with the glow sticks and just kind of have some fun that way. So right now I'm going to actually uh, black out the room and you, I'll just I guess I'll just kind of leave this up on my desk. You won't really see anything except the lights anyway. But I'll speed it up. So let's do it. Let's actually go have some fun. We're going to go lights out. So here we go, I'm going to shut this off, make sure my camera is on, there we go, and I pre-focus to a certain spot, so once again I'm using, um, I'm at a 5.6 right now, 30 second shutter, uh, I'm on self timer that I have for 10 seconds, and ooh, I even have my little flash, so I have my little glow sticks here, everything has been blacked out, so you can't really see anything and I'm going to use a flash real quick just to kind of do a little bit maybe of ambient. We'll do some, I guess, two or three quick ones. As I said, I'll just let this run. Here we go. Once again, I'm just going to kind of set this up and just go along with it. So follow. All right. And that's going to go lights out right now, but you'll be able to see my glow sticks. <laughs> see what we have here and this will pop on let's hit play and I got a little little ghosty effect a little cool ghost thing so that's something you can do I'll pop this up on the screen right now I did shoot this in raw as you see bring that back up as you see uh, there is a little bit of um, I added a little bit of ambient light with my flash because I just wanted to give it a little bit more of a kick but here's something without the flash so let's try that again Oh, we have a cool effect right here. Check that out. I'll also pop that back up on screen. I'm going to turn the light on for one second. We have some cool effects going on right here. So I'm just going to actually reposition my camera and you'll see a quick jump cut. And I'm just going to do a traditional use my cell phone type of thing and just write my name or something like that. And once again, this is all because I'm using timers. I'm using uh, dark clothing so you won't really see me. And for the fact is I'm using... Um, uh, slower shutter speeds, a decent aperture to get things in focus, and you'll see what I mean. So quick snap of the finger, we'll be switched. All right, so we're back. We're actually going to switch things up. So I'm going to shoot more this way. There's my camera. And I'm just going to do uh, just some of the typical write your name type of thing just to show you a little, bit, a little bit more what you can do. But as I said, this is one of the main reasons why I got into photography. I really, really, I really, really enjoyed this back in the day. So I just really want to do it again. So let's do the same thing. Nothing's changed. Everything's been the same. Wide angles work better so that way you catch things more in focus uh, or so that way you catch everything. So let's dive into this. I'm going to once again 
do that. Put this right on top of this camera here if it'll work. Boom. Turn off the lights again. Jenish, let's check this out. Oh, we went nuts here. Bam. As you see, once again, I'll pop that up. It's just fun what you can do, the thing, the different things. I tried to write my name, but it came out like a gang sign, I guess. But as you see, it's it's in focus. But I'm gonna show you a fun thing also. I'll speed up these little times in between. These things are something I've always invested in because I really, really enjoy them. It's gonna be a horrible angle of me. These little guys, these little finger lights. The more you can do, the more you can have, the more fun, uh, essentially, it will, it will be for yourself. I have several of these, I don't know. Do these all still work? Yes, red works. Yellow works. I'm gonna have so much fun right now. And green works. Should have a blue. Well, guess what I'm gonna do? So I'm gonna attach these right now. All right, guys, so I attach these things to my fingers. So, you know, I might do something like that with special effect afterwards. But here we go again. I'm gonna have my hood all the way up. And I'm just gonna paint with these little guys, these little uh, finger LED lights. They're so damn cheap, you can get them. But let's go, let's do it again. Lights out, baby. Okay, we finished our photo right now. Let's pop that light back on. What do we have? Yes! I'm done. I'm calling her on that note. Bam. That is light painting. That is fun. Eric Ross to the guy with the eye. I hope I did something fun for you guys and I explained what I did. It's extremely simple. There's not a ton of editing you really have to do with them anyway. I mean, they're just kind of what they are. I did uh, shoot them as raw, so I will have some functionality if I want to add a little bit more saturation or something. But that is the fundamentals of light painting. Super fun, super awesome. I haven't done that in a while. I'm really, really filled with adrenaline right now because that's just so much fun to me. But that is how you do light painting. Grab some light. It could be your your cell phone. It could be a you know a camera flash. It could be you know finger lights or it could be glow sticks. You can have so much fun and just enjoy life. That's all I got. Eric Ross, he got the eye. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. Yes.